Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I did a best highlighters video quite some time ago now and I thought it would be about time that I updated my favourite highlighters for a warm skin tone. I still very much love the highlighters that I mentioned in the previous video but because it was some time ago and since then I have discovered so many more that I absolutely love, I thought it's about time that I shared those with you also. But yeah, if you want to check out the last video that I did for those highlighters then I will link it for you now so you can go and check those out. Also I've done my top foundations, drugstore foundations, concealers, drugstore concealers, contour products, bronzers, blushes like loads of different categories for a warmer skin tone. Being an Indian girl or just someone of a warm skin, it is sometimes hard to find products that suit your skin tone. Also products that are going to like not clash with other products. So yeah, this is why I've chosen to do kind of like these category type videos to help you pick products that are gonna work well together and work well for you and your skin tone because this is what works for me. Now I personally love a good strong highlight and I understand some people don't, some people just like to go really nice and natural with it but that's down to application, just go light handed um, and just pick up less product. But the type of highlighters I like to look out for and reach for really come down to the shade and also the pigment type. Those two things are so key when you are working with a warmer skin tone. First of all, shade is important, obviously, because you don't want it to look ashy. Personally, I find the shade that complements a warmer skin tone the most is a gold highlighter, but sometimes I find that gold highlighters can be a bit dark and deep, and you know, there's a whole range of gold highlighters out there. I think every brand has one out, um, but some of them can be a bit too deep, and they just don't pop, and they look nice and bright in the pan, but they just don't pop, and you don't get that like, mm. Bam, if you know what I mean. So I like to go for a gold highlighter, which is almost verging on like a, a light gold. And then second of all, it's pigment. Being someone of a warmer skin tone, you don't wanna put your product on and then you're like, I can't see it. Like, I just need to keep building and building and building until you can. And then you've just got like this whole chunk of stripe there. That's not cute. So you want something that is already quite strongly pigmented so you can be in control of how much highlighter you want on or off or, you know. And before I get on to show you my favorite highlighters, I just wanna show you the types of brushes that I like to use. One of them being a fan brush. You can use any fan brush you want. This is just one that I got in a Vanity Planet brush kit. But yeah, any fan brush will do. You do get a lot thicker ones, but I quite like one of this kind of size just because I have a really small pea head. You get a bit more control. Um, it fits really nicely in this area. So this is gonna give you a nice soft blend to your highlighters and not let it go on nice and chunky. Even if you are applying loads of it, a fan brush is gonna just fan it out nicely. And then another brush I like to use is a bit more of a precise brush. Mine is a little bit dirty because I've used it. Um, but this is the Morphe M510 brush. So it's almost like a large 217 like um, MAC eyeshadow brush. It's nice and fluffy, but it's still quite dense and it's tapered. You get a good amount of control with this. You can place the highlighter where you want it and because it's tapered, that's where you're gonna get the nice soft blend so it's not gonna go on chunky again. I like to use this brush when I'm using loose pigment highlighters rather than one that comes in a pan because that way I'm able to pick up a lot of product and distribute it evenly and get it on, you know? But enough information, let's just jump straight in and I'm gonna show you my favorite highlighters and all of my new discoveries since the last vid. I think it would be really, really silly of me to not start off with this one. And it's the Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive Highlighter. This is what it looks like. And this, for me, is the most perfect highlighter. It's gold, it's light, it pops, it's pigmented. It is perfect. This is kind of like the benchmark highlighter. Like this is what I look for. And then I compare everything else to this and Champagne Pop from um, Becca, which was in my last video. So I'm not gonna show you that. But those two, those shades are perfection. But this even pops more than Champagne Pop. For sure. I've actually got this on right now on top of a liquid highlighter, which I must say, I don't even need to put a liquid highlighter underneath this. I can use this on its own. You've seen me use it in tutorials before and it just goes on like an absolute dream. If you don't have this, you absolutely need it. Also, I have a 30% off code for this. 
I don't get any money for it guys, it's just a 30% off code for you. If you go on the Ofra Cosmetics website, you can get 30% off everything on there with the code ANCHEL30. Um, and yeah, so if you did want to get this and have a discount, then go ahead and use the code. If you don't want to, don't worry, I don't mind. But yeah, this is a must, everyone needs this. Now my next one is a liquid illuminator and I mentioned that I'm wearing it today underneath my Rodeo Drive highlighter and it's the Iconic London Illuminator and this is the original one. I believe it's called Champagne but I'll leave the names of everything down below for you. I have never ever in my entire makeup life ever seen a highlighter like this. This is beautiful underneath your powder highlighter. It's also beautiful mixing with your foundation but the shade of this again is absolutely popping, so pigmented, no ashiness in it whatsoever and again it's just a product that I think everyone needs, especially if you're into your highlighters, it's going to change your highlighter game massively. Next I have a couple of drugstore ones, now in my last video I mentioned the Sleek Soul Stice palette, I think that's how you say it, I always say it wrong, but they came out with a couple of new palettes, one of them being um, the Cleopatra's Kiss palette and it looks like this. I love this palette because you get two cream highlighters in there and then also two powder ones, one of them being a bit more of a deep intense gold and this one's still a gold but with like a hint of like a light pink in it, it's still very very beautiful. These highlighters, again, they just go on so nicely and very highly pigmented. This one on its own, because it's got that pinky undertone to it, it can be a little bit ashy just on its own. But I like mixing the two of them together to get the most perfect, bright, popping highlighter, but with the warmth in it from that gold highlighter right there. So it's just such a lovely palette and you won't be breaking the bank for it either. And then Sleep brought out another highlighting palette and it's from their Distorted Dreams collection. So this is their newest highlighter palette and I really like this because it comes with a really large mirror inside um, and then it's got quite a few different shades of highlighters. Now personally for me, I find that none of these are something that I would reach for, it's just not my kind of thing. I find that coloured highlighters just don't complement my skin very well um, and day to day, yeah, I just don't like it. Enough rambling. Anyway, the shade that I like from this palette is this gold one here. It is so bright and beautiful. I would only get this palette if you liked coloured highlighters on your skin, otherwise it is a little bit of a waste just to get it for that one shade here. But I must say, Sleek are very like cheeky because they've put the most perfect shade in this palette. Now I mentioned loose pigment highlighters earlier and I was talking about the Artist Couture um, Diamond Glow Powders. If you haven't seen these or heard of them then where have you been? They've been all over Instagram but yeah I have got my hands on Illuminati and Coco Bling and I think these are two of the most popular ones and also they're really really lovely for a warm skin tone. Now loose powdered pigment highlighters sometimes can be a little bit messy to work with it's always best to pick up a small amount on a dense brush and then buff that out. These also have loose bits of glitter in there as well which is why I'm saying you need to be uh, careful of the way you apply it so that it doesn't, you don't get like bits of glitter everywhere and you only want it in the highlighted areas. Illuminati is that light gold shade that I really really love and then Coco Bling is something that I wouldn't use on its own, it's something that I would use on top of Illuminati just on the highest points to give the highlight that extra teeny bit of pop um, because it's more of like a light white highlighter with an undertone of gold. The next one I'm going to mention is the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette in the shade Gold Sands. So you get a cream highlighter, a powder highlighter, a bronzery type glowy thing and a glowy blush. The cream highlighter is beautiful, it's a bit more of a warm gold highlighter and then the Seychelles powder highlighter is that really nice light gold. So layered on top it works really beautifully and again when you apply this you don't get any hint of ashiness whatsoever, it pops, it's very very buildable and I just really like this palette especially the highlighters in it. And then finally it's a bit more of an affordable palette again and this is the more Morphe um, collaboration palette with 
I will leave the name down below. It says Dee Dee on the back, but I can't remember the actual name. Ah, so bad. This is really good if you're a makeup artist and you just need a bunch of highlighters in your kit because you've literally got everything in this palette. It's also a good palette if you like different coloured highlighters um, as well as your nice warm golds and bronzes and light golds and things like that. So it's a very versatile palette. I actually like to use these two shades down here and this one right at the top to give that highlighter that extra pop on the high points. For such an affordable palette, the pigmentation of these are absolutely beautiful. And yeah, you've just got such a nice wide range of shades in here. So there is something for everyone. And I love this. So those are my new discoveries and also favorite highlighters out of all of the ones that I've been discovering since the last video. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If there are any other categories that you'd love for me to cover, then make sure you leave it down below in the comment section. Do give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, if you learned something, it really helps me out. And also don't forget to subscribe for more of these types of videos. And of course, make sure you keep up to date with me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere, anywhere. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.